so I've coached a lot of bodybuilders that were very diligent with their blood work every month, yeah. every three months, checking their creatinine, checking their C, yep. cystatin C, doing your, you know, 24 hour urine collection test to see if the, mm -hmm. the, the, the GFR, Protonura. the actual GFR mm -hmm. is going down. Nothing. Nothing. The, the bold unknown thing I, I, I wanted to cover simply because mm -hmm. you made a yeah. video about it. And when I do a QA, mm -hmm. everybody is like, oh, but Steve said this, you know, and, <laughs> and like, <laughs> I, I better talk to you about it than a fucking yeah. QA. So that's the only thing I want to ask you and give you my sure. opinion and, uh, and, and just see you, uh, where's the, the middle ground, uh, if you don't mind. So, so yeah sure so I'm, I'm slowly preparing for a video called how toxic is boldenone so i'm mm -hmm. going to look at all the scientific evidence regarding kidney toxicity and co toxicity on other organs mm -hmm. and then what i'm going to do which is going to take a lot of time these mm -hmm. studies that are performed on boldenone i'm going to see if they're mm -hmm. also performed on other drugs because okay. what you see a lot of times is that particular studies are only used in one, two, three compounds, but not the entire steroid family. True. So what I see already is that all these studies that show kidney toxicity in animal models when mm -hmm. boldenone is being used, which are good studies. Some are a mm -hmm. little bit wishy-washy, but others are performed quite good. Correct. Those have never been replicated on primobolin or Mastro or Trin or Nandrolone or Test. Because those are human grade drugs. No, 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 not not because of that. Simply because they haven't been performed, right? It's an animal model that you can replicate on the other steroids. So many of these these drugs that show toxicity in the brain or other organs, mm -hmm. they've only been performed on a particular compound. But the entire steroid family hasn't been assessed regarding neurotoxicity. And if if they are, then it's like test, nandrolone, winstrol, and trend, right? So yeah. now you have four. Okay, those are pharmaceutical grades, so they want to see how that affects the brain. But mm -hmm. you should make a separate assessment on every organ, not just mm -hmm. animal models, every organ, yes. either from uh, observational studies and, and perhaps in vivo, in vitro studies, and just check everything against each other and start ranking them. Now, I don't think those studies will ever be performed, but nope. the problem is with a lot of um, educators and people in the space, they take this scientific evidence is hard fact and then say well we'd rather take primobolin because there's no kidney toxicity no 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 the studies on primobolin haven't been performed in the same setting so we don't know True. absence of evidence exactly. isn't evidence of absence True. so this is what i'm this is what i'm now slowly trying to piece together and it will still take a couple of weeks so guys please don't bug me in the comments they bug me oh, yeah yeah they bug you. Me. yeah that they usually go to other educators. As Steve said this, and it'll take you out of context. Yeah, they bug me. <laughs> they bug me because, like, so, my 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 philosophy regarding this is mm -hmm. there was there's just one study that they're just flipping out on on human uh, there's like There's like twelve studies or ten no, 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 studies no, no. that I, I'm show talking some humans. Issues. I'm talking oh, about yeah. humans. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Group A were on testosterone. Dianabol and Nandrolone versus Nandrolone yeah. a test versus Nandrolone, testosterone and boldenone. And right. when, yeah. they, mm -hmm. when, when they looked at uh, the nephrological parameters, test plus Nandrolone had the best outcome than mm -hmm. test Nandrolone and uh, Dianabol. And the worst yeah. was test Nandrolone and Boldenone. In yeah. conclusion, Boldenone, hepatoxic, it's garbage. Stay away <laughs> from it. Like yeah. that's so fucked up. And you have to have a head-to-head -head comparison in order mm -hmm. to draw any sort of conclusion. And also, I was thinking of it, right, as far as, like, damage, nephrological damage. Mm -hmm. How do... So we know that androgens inherently do that. Like, they are yeah. toxic to the kidneys and the heart exactly. and the brain in, in a dose-dependent mm -hmm. manner, supraphysiologically, right? So, Boldenone, you, you've been a, a, around way longer than me. So, you know mm -hmm. yourself even on the forums, and even Derek, when he made a video on EQ years ago, mm. he used the term, it's better off to use it to uh, oil your bike chains, right? Some mm. people hate it, not because of side effects, because of its lack of efficacy relative to other right. androgens that they can take right. at a lesser dosage. So usually, boldenone is ran 
at around 400 plus, even up right. a gram or two for mm -hmm. weeks. Have yeah. ever seen a Q drop of EGFR, is that and no, rather than you on, on EQ? Never. never. So never. where the fuck did this come from? I don't know. I've coached a lot of so I've coached a lot of bodybuilders that were very diligent with their blood work every month, yeah. every three months, checking their creatinine, checking their seat, yep. just out and see, doing your you know 24 hour urine collection test to see if the mm -hmm. the, the, the GFR, Fortunera. the actual GFR, mm -hmm. is going down. Nothing. Nothing. And you Nothing. have trends. and ultrasounds once yep. a year. Nothing. Yep. yep. Exactly. Not, no biopsies. To be fair, no biopsies. I did it. No. You did a biopsy. Yep. I have a kidney oh. biopsy to to the uh, because of my autoimmune uh, disease right. because of the lupus I had to, and uh, uh, basically the the whole the whole point is my glomeruli on the kidneys those are the the filters up above the kidneys they right. were intact the lupus is screwing my tubules mm -hmm. so the glomeruli were not they were intact so there was right. not androgen related glomeruli. Uh, issue because protein right. loss is mediated when pressure pushes protein particles right. through the glomeruli into the urine. Into the and that's urine. protein yeah. loss. And I also did an electrophoresis, uh, urine okay. electrophoresis, and I was losing a, a small amount of albumin from the actual inflammation from the lupus. So, right. and, and I was on EQ. So uh, that's why I haven't. <laughs> and it was an EQ. And, <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on? Like, where's the, the the supposed toxicity? The only thing that came to mind is if it's inherently inflammatory, because like trembolone is notorious to cause FSGS, focal segmented glomerulosclerosis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's immunomodulated, and that's because the video that you made on trend that it exacerbates uh, pro-inflammatory prostaglandin production. Right. Mm -hmm. That explains it. The reason is yeah. prostaglandin, bradykinin, uh, mm -hmm. histamine, they're the mediators of the inflammatory response, which is good if it's acute. Over a prolonged period of time, That's the horrible. immune system, you're, you're, you're constantly inflammatory in an inflammatory state, and your body is like, what the fuck? That affects your immune system, and now the memory T cells are starting to get whacked, and they start signaling the, the, beta, the beta cells to start producing antibodies. And they, yeah, start, they start attacking, attacking yourself. You know? Yeah, attacking everything. And, and mm -hmm. that's how you get our immune issues. And usually the kidneys always fail apart. Chris Bumstead, when he was diagnosed with the burger syndrome mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago, the first thing that they did was a kidney biopsy, yeah. right? And it always affects the kidneys. Kidneys, heart, and liver are three organs that are like interestingly tied in together. Mm -hmm. Kidneys start taking beating first. Liver is second, and heart just goes. Yeah, their heart failure. feels last. Yeah, exactly. So, so even even if you backpedal uh, and and try to to uh, go by method of deduction, I cannot comprehend how boldenon could be that nephrotoxic, especially because it's used the longest and mm -hmm. also the highest doses. Yeah. So that's why the whole premise is like super weird to me. And when I do my Q and A's on, on, on Instagram, mm. and I talk about EQ, and people are like, "But Vigor Steve said is like poisonous and this and that." No, and they, I like, never said that. I said there's talking. some evidence. I said there's yeah. some evidence of kidney toxicity yeah. in animal models. So yes. that this is exactly. the problem with the audience; they misconstrue what you're saying. Exactly, I knew so, it. I, I knew it. Yeah. So, and I also understand that there's a huge difference between what you can find in the scientific evidence. And what actually plays out in the real world so this is why you know with evidence-based coaching i always laugh a little bit because it just means that you're a little bit behind on everything else because it's the overall experience that is going to give you results plus you need to combine the scientific evidence and and you know screen that scrutinously True. then pass it through the filter of your experience which takes decades years to build up and then you need to figure out how much of this evidence and your experience is actually applicable to you and your clients. How can you yes. reproduce this scientific evidence? And in many cases, a lot of the scientific evidence you can't reproduce. Or you need to look at the entire body of knowledge, really go into the metadata, 
and then which takes time you can't just go by the abstracts which is a lot of no. the, the, the <laughs> science-based guys do they just read the abstracts they don't yeah. look at Co the method conclusion. of analysis they don't look yep. at the groups yep. they don't look at the restrictions so yep. go to science hub put in the study read it three times mm -hmm. and then draw your conclusion with five other studies that you can find you know cherry True. picking studies so this is this is a huge issue but people like outside scientific evidence it's good most of the time there's there's so many flaws in there that Very. you know you so that's why i you know i'm a more hands-on experienced guy i know you are and 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 that's why guys like us usually get the results um because we also look at the blood work True. we also look at, at the diet and the lifestyle interventions which many of these studies don't cover